Hello everyone, or welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, stuff happened, it was cool, it was okay, we got a lot of money. Now in between episodes, I kinda said I would do this, I've upgraded Miri, D, uh, Ed, and, oh, not these, <laughs> and um, I was gonna do Tim, because I thought Miri, Tim, Ed, and D seems like a decent group of people to send out to a level 5 mission, because they're basically there. Two of them are already level 6, D's nearly level 6, and Ed, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to get him strong, and he hasn't got any stress, unlike Psycho here, who's half stressed already. But, ran out of money. I did sell. Mm, I don't want to say a majority, but a quantity of the trinkets that I basically never use. Uh, no. And then I realised that I said at some point I would like to do uh, a dark run, so that we can make use of some of these things that benefit low light. I thought, why not? Um, and also we have this going on, silencing the crits. Extra XP and damage in the ruins. Now, unfortunately, the only options for the ruins are two level five missions. Um, so I think I'm not gonna do that because as I've said, all our level five people are not actually level five equipment and therefore they're not gonna be level five powered. Uh, Miri, D, and now Ed have level five blacksmith equipment, but they don't have level 5 guild skills. So I'm not going to use them after all, but I will try and get some more money. As mentioned, I sold some of these in order to do that, because, you know, each one of those upgrades was 5,000. We had about 22,000 when I started. Uh, now we're down to 8. And I stopped because, obviously, it's going to be... We'd be down to, like, none <laughs> if we try to upgrade anybody any further. But what I will do instead... Uh, I was thinking about doing one of these Warren's missions. There's a short level 3 mission here a medium champion mission here. Uh, that's all I'm really happy to do. There is a long veteran mission, but I don't want to do a long dark run. So I'll do a short dark run. We do get a thing we don't want, but we can sell it. We, these do sell for a decent amount, about a thousand each. But we're not going to be taking Sejiris because Sejiris is nearly flipped out. I was thinking maybe we get rid of Sejiris and replace Sejiris with a new um, uh, antiquarian. At a similar level, but there is not one. Furthermore, I'll just mention this in passing, the stagecoach is nearly completely upgraded, so we can't get higher than level 2 in our roster, in, like, of our experienced recruits, so we could bring somebody in right now, actually. Do we want to bring an arbalist in to help out with this mission? That's a good question. I think maybe we should. Let's do that. We'll bring this arbalist in. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. We've got Sniper Shot, which is decent. So they're good at the back, which is basically where I wanted them to be. Uh, we can take Payas here, who has yet to be even remotely in a situation where I have to spend money on them. So even though this was a very early unit where I said I'd probably get rid of this unit at some point, actually it's turned out that I haven't needed to because they've basically taken no damage and no stress. Um, these are okay. I'm not going to spend any money on taking ones I care for. Blind Fire would be pretty good, but I'm not going to really worry about that. What I'm going to do is bring these people into this one in a dark mission. We'll put Dudley at the back, pay us at the second back. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm thinking maybe take Penelope Puddles. Now, Penelope Puddles... I'm not sure how to use. Maybe that's a bad idea to take... That's like, it's two unknowns at the same time. Do you see? Uh, but we have to. <laughs> it's them or them. Uh, okay. I guess we just go for it. There is also a... Um, an achievement for full party wipe. But I don't want to get rid of Viz, I don't want to get rid of... Actually, basically I don't want to lose Viz at this stage, but I guess we could start again with this set of people. We've put some money into them, but I'm starting to think maybe at the lowest level, the amount of money we've put into them is reduced, and so the gambler's fallacy is smaller and less, less obvious. Uh, and therefore, we can afford to lose them. So let's have a look at trinkets here. Now, in this situation, I think we want to take a lot more um, stress-based things. So we'll definitely take this on Viz, because Viz will be tanking a lot of damage. Um, and we want to reduce as much st stress as possible, so maybe this one. Maybe you could be good at being fast. We could do this thing where we switch these units around like this. Because you're okay in the third position. You can do some stuff in the third position. You can't really attack too much. Like, these are going to move a lot. You're going to move around a lot as a result of these. So, we, we dance around a lot and just do what we can. Um, 
It will screw up this. But I do want this person to be... I don't really care about them being at the back. So we'll do that, and then this person will end up here. But it means that this unit will not move around out of a position. They'll move into the third position, which is fine. So, hmm. Above 75 is obviously not going to be what we, what we want at all. And let's start by a uh, character class. Here we go. You are a arbalist. And we apparently have no arbalist trinkets. Oh, here we go. Move resist, blah, blah, blah. More stress is not a good idea. I, I actually don't really care for this. Maybe this arbalist has those skills? Let's check. You've got bowler. It has, a, it has actually got the one that we usually don't worry about. So maybe we do for once take the trinket we don't normally care for. Just to see if we can discombobulate the enemy. Uh, and therefore get through the... the fights quicker and therefore take less stress as a result because we're going to be very stressy anyway Rem remember we can run away and we don't really care about these units that's my final decision and I'm sticking with it I'm sorry to Viz to Penelope Puddles um, who are the only two actually that I named but it is what it is is any of these people less damage of Torchblow 26 that's a very good I know I'm just having a look here for anyone who has a particularly uh, particularly stressy, yes, you. So you should definitely take a highly negatively stressy thing. We have worry stones, 10%. I'm sure we had a 15% somewhere. Let me click around looking for it. I honestly forget, I think it was a book. Was it a book? Did I give it to somebody else? Oh, right click, what are you doing? 20%. We'll take this and put it on. Can I just do this? No. Oh, don't make it easy on me, will you? You are the stress eater, so we don't want you to have stress. You can then have the 10% one, which is this. Less speed is fine for a tank. Uh, more stress, not great. More stress. I don't even know if we have enough negative stress things to give to everybody. And don't forget, we could end up fighting that horrible Shambola-type monster. Um, which can just randomly show up whilst the light is low. I don't know... You know, what am I even looking for? This person. I don't know whether that's um, very likely. Yes. 25% is very good. I guess we just give you something cool, like more accuracy and dodge, or more crit. Sure, more crit seems good. Less provision, we don't need too many torches, but I will take a couple. I'll take four, just in case for some reason we feel like we need them. A couple of keys. Where are we going? Warrens, so we want... Uh, maybe not that many. Don't really think we need keys. Let's not bother with keys. Take an extra shovel. Some bandages. And then a fair amount of food, but... In the Warrens, you can expect to pick up some food. So we'll take an, we will take three of those, after all. Um, probably take three of these. We've already got three of those. Okay, let's just take three of everything. Make it balanced. And then this is a multiple of four. <laughs> there we go. Everything is a multiple of three. That makes me happy. Let's go. I'm a bit trepid. I keep wanting to say trepidatious and then my brain goes, that's the wrong word. The word is trepid. Public service public service announcement, the word is trepid, like intrepid, uh, not trepidatious, which is just a an unnecessary extension, like luncheon. <clears throat> what are we doing? 90% of rooms, so there isn't a... There's a battle to start off with, and a curium. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're ruining everything. You might as well use him. Like, the first few battles are going to be in full light anyway, unless they have a light reducing enemy. Um, I guess we do this and then we can sing for absolution later. So I think we just rate them across the coals. I did kill one, which is great. This is actually a bad position for this unit, I realise, because even though it says preferred position is the front, you can't actually do anything from the front. Uh, this is lying. Basically, I hadn't realised it was lying, or I would probably have changed what I did. Never mind. 
I mean, honestly, having an Arbalist at the front is not a great idea anyway, and I'm hoping that, yeah, Penelope Puddles goes first. Meaning we can do everything to everything. It's just a massive debuff, I think. Um, can you do anything from the second position? Just that. Very well. Not helpful. It's the most helpful we've got. It did kill something, so I guess it's as helpful as it would ever going to be. I'll just shoot something. I guess that's fine. This is not really a well-suited party to itself. Syphilis. Well done. Uh, the combination of moving people around and people who are somewhat intolerant to moving is not great, but I'm hoping to get through it quickly and do a lot of damage. Ah, brilliant. Because this unit in this position is also kind of useless. Here you go. It's only Viz that takes stress damage on subsequent rounds, which is fine. And I think we just keep going. We have to explore 90% of the room, so we might as well do corridors that we know about into rooms that we know about. Uh, I did know that that was a battle, but I didn't think of it, so okie dokie then. You're going first, and I forgot to move you. I guess you solo. Paolo. <laughs> Stone. Ah, now you're in a good position, but you're not. So you going first actually helps. Uh, does it? What's your... 60 and 40. It's probably worth a try. It avoids us getting any stress damage when we don't need to. Which I think is very much worthwhile. Because we're going to take a lot anyway, especially from crits like that. Don't forget that I'm currently using a uh, occultist as a healer, which could go horribly wrong. At any point, like this point right here. I didn't give you a second one. That was absolutely foolish. I didn't realise I hadn't given this person a second one because I was going to give them the one that we... Oops, I whacked the microphone. Apologies. I'm going to give them the one that we always give to them, which reduces the bleed chance, right? What a silly thing to have done. That's a fairly major mistake, to be quite honest. Maybe I should have used the mark first? Guess that's all we can do. Or move. It's a bit, a bit of a difficult one here because I don't really know what to do. I was just thinking that's quite likely to kill it. I managed to roll lowest. This could be a, a, a doomed mission, but I guess whatever. Please. <laughs> Thanks for resisting the bleeds. I can't believe I didn't bring the negative bleed, res bleed chance. Uh, trinket. That's actually going to be a, a major problem. For sure. Now, the Arbalist can heal. I'm not sure what the range on it is, though. It says a knockback. I think we rake. I mean, this rake damage can do one heck of a lot of good for us. Apparently, we don't have... Anything to do here. Um, sure. <laughs> I mean, it's better than passing. It, it really does nothing to us. Uh, okay. It actually does some good stuff to us. Ow. Get on with it, will you? <laughs> Endic, why are we getting so many crits against us? Though? This is, um... Seems unlikely. I'll be honest. That we should get so many of these. Sure, let's do this. You in that position is bad, though. Let's solo again. You in this position is bad, and you in this position is bad. So these two just do not play well together, which I knew. Um, but I remember I couldn't give a toss, <laughs> basically. You do not... Well, you do need a healer, to be fair. <sighs> Did leave a corpse, but it's, ble oh, it's not bleeding much. Oh, for goodness sake. 0 to 16, and we've rolled less than half three times in a row. It's not great. I didn't move either of them <laughs> very well. I'm going to just solo again. Try and get the debuffs on them, which will help us quite considerably, I believe. Um... Let's rage against this machine. There we go. And then this will at least let this unit have a go. I mean, those are some decent debuffs that we get from there. That's more like a 16. So we're back in the game, at least with that unit. This unit can heal itself. Disease, no doubt. 
Uh, just stress. We're doing okay on stress because we actually brought the anti-stress things, but like the the trade-off is probably quite obviously we're not doing very good um, in terms of damage. Basically, these are going to take a lot longer to um, beat the crap out of, and you have dodged very well. So be it. Get anything here? Yeah, 14 is a decent amount. If I yeah, I'm going to uh, transform you back. And let you absolve because the stress is starting to matter. I mean, we could probably get through a whole round without Viz once the light gets low. We could extinguish the light, actually. That's a, that is an option. But I think this party is basically doomed. But I really didn't give it the credit for how much stress there would be here. Just as a result of, I don't really know. Here. I guess this unit wasn't helping. Everyone dodged, which is excellent. Probably because of this, um, none of that. <laughs> Here you go, absolve again. So taking off one of these for each round is actually really good. I guess these buffs aren't actually that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did we get stressed for no reason? Sorry, what? Like we, we just stressed. As far as I can tell, nothing causes us to stress out then. Why are you having another? I'm very confused about the turn order here as well. Is it? Oh. We got to seven rounds. Mostly because I'm having to skip all these goes. Um, just to get anyone to do anything. Oh, no one can actually attack. That's a problem. Might have to re transform Biz again. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake. Alright, one, one more of this and then we'll. Uh, I didn't realise that we were burning off rounds, which you'd think it would be obvious. Ah, oh, shit. But it really wasn't. Well, this is very interesting. I didn't actually know about any of these mechanics. Please. Let us... A crit is fine. Didn't really help anybody else, but here we are. I just want this to have a go. Come on. Here we go. Why can't you transform? What? When did that get introduced? Ah, oh, shit. Fine. We'll do this. This is going really badly. I, I honestly didn't know you could not transform twice in a battle or I would have stayed there. But Jesus Christ. Whose idea was this? I want to go. <laughs> Me, please. Alright, so now we have to use these ones. Uh, we'll do this then. Then we can finale at least one of them. Uh... Yeah, just do that again. At least the reinforcements are not apparently going to last very long. Um, stun this unit. See if this unit can shoot anybody. Not really. We'll move this unit, get him into a position which helps. I don't know. What have I done here? I've learned something at least, and that's always good. Uh, we'll solo it before we do another finale, because we want all these units to be able to get a go, if entirely possible. That does kill it, which helps very, very greatly. Uh, you should probably heal yourself somewhat. No bleed? No bleed. And then you can start... Oh, for five minutes. You can hit that unit, right? Yes. Um, I guess we bowler it. This gives us a better chance of moving it, which did not happen. Hopefully moving it into a position that would allow us to hit it, but then it did that thing anyway, which would normally move it forwards. And we've done it, so that was not a great battle at all, <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but we did manage it. We'll take everything we got here. We could run away, a trifling victory. Um, but, a victory but I'm probably just going to press ahead because I don't know what's good for me. We did not bring any keys for some reason. Why don't you open it? Very well. If everybody dies, I believe we get nothing that we invested in it. But don't forget, all we invested in it was the the sunk cost of these. It's the sunk cost fallacy, not the gambler's fallacy. What are you talking about? Um, the sunk cost of these units, which is sunk. And, and I don't really care for that. Um, quiet. The cost of provisioning. And I only took really three of everything except food, so I'm, I'm not entirely bothered by that whatsoever. 60, 50, 80. Mm. Not in my luck. We're okay. 
Let's explore this room. Hopefully we get scouting, which means we know whether to explore the next room or not, which I would like to do. Gonna do it anyway. I mean, if it, it could get to the point where we just decide that what we really want to do is snuff the torch, <coughs> snuff the torch, collect as much stuff as we can. Right, how? Surely you used to be able to do that. Whatever. Uh, more chance of hero surprise. Right, so we'll absolve whilst we can at the start of the game. Let's <laughs> hard around. This was done all wrong, and I completely misplayed all of these characters. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping that what actually happens is we just sort of get an opportunity to re-roll the lower echelons of our, our parties, of our um, roster. Ooh. I'm happy with you being here for now. I'm not happy with you being here. But we can um, buff ourselves, can we not? Very well. We dodge that, which is great. Dodge this. No, but we didn't get this. We did get this. Time. So now we've actually got a use for the rallying flare. <laughs> Fortunately, we're probably gonna lose the stun before we get to use it. No doubt. So it usually works. Miss. You dodged even though you're stunned. Brilliant. Well, it, you missed. Uh, what does that do? A debuff, despite our excellent resist. Right here goes. So people are gonna stress out. What the hell with them? It's Dudley. Dudley. That is a most premium situation, right there. Do you get a bonus to this or something? Absolutely not. No, no negative to it, but focus, I guess. It doesn't tell you what focus does. I guess it doesn't tell you what most of them do, but uh, I suppose the thing is that... Let's have a look at this before I keep talking. 10 to 18, 6 to 11, plus a debuff. Well, a buff to ourselves, so we keep doing it. And 8 to 14. That's actually more damage than this. And it has the knockback, which is probably unlikely. It's 95% against us. But Rake... Rake won't hit them both. Like, the thing about Rake is it would normally hit them both. But we do get a debuff, uh, a buff rather, so that we can continue to do it. But I think I just raged. 16 is fine. Yeah, we didn't get the opportunity to do that, which is unfortunate. Uh, we will do this one more time, try and get that buff up a little bit more, and then we'll do the dancing around with the Jester after that, which is now. So we solo everybody. They get debuffed. Less damage, less accuracy. I think we continue to weaken this. Do we? What are your dodges like? Nine. Nine. Um... It's possible that we could actually get away with doing this. Get that mark on it and then use the Arbalist to do some decent amount of damage to it. Because it does take up enough space that the Arbalist can hit it by the Arbalist is not stunned. Which they are not very well. So now we can actually just do that I guess. And you can shoot it. With great justice. That was very good. Appreciate that. A great deal. Do not believe. Uh, we'll finale this. But only 10? That's probably quite a wide range on that, actually. I didn't really check. Oh, it doesn't say. Of course it doesn't say. That'd be helpful. Uh, rage. Brilliant! Okay, we're, we're getting this slightly right, I think. Not having the opportunity to use the Arbalist to their full potential um, is obviously less than ideal. Okay. Darkness closes in. You can't snuff out the torch. In combat. Let's eat some food. Wow, the atmosphere. You can have one more. The uh, background noise is quite terrifying indeed. Of course, we can have one torch on. Um, let's find out. So, it stopped the horrible noises <laughs> as a bonus. Um, I think. I think we're okay. I mean, that's a good balance at this stage. Let's stop talking and move on. These people are slow as bullshit anyway, so... I'm starting to hear the screams in the background still. It's not completely, uh... Not completely quenched. We'll take our torch. Because I think keeping the light down here... You know... Just... 
between that and that is fine. We actually found some loot in that, probably as a result of the light level, so worth doing. Being able to just top it back up again if we're getting too much stress or something. Probably worthwhile. There's only an obstacle on this alleyway, so... Yeah, sure. It's getting louder. It is... Now pitch black. Very well. I mean, we can pace out these torches as we wish. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Scouting, even though it's dark as pitch. There is a... We could actually succeed at this, which slightly terrifies me, because I shouldn't be doing this well, but okay. We can time our torches to get in just before a battle or something. No. I won't touch that. I think it's still our... Oh. Still our grave robber who is best at this. Not grave robber, jester. I mean, half of me was counting on people dying. Just stop with the scary noises, please. <laughs> Temporarily. Save me my sanity. Alright, here's a battle that we can win if we choose to. Do this first. Get us back down to 53 stress. That's fine. No stuff. Minus 7 dodge. Fine. Fine. No. Very well. I'm going to allow this. So we can do some decent damage with some of these units. I think we start off with the bleeds. This is actually fine because we've got a marked unit. Shush. Ooh. So you buffed you. That's very good. We didn't have a stunned unit, but we got rid of that mark. Replace it with a buff. Now. This thing is about to attack us, so I think we reduce its damage. Like this. Then we start bleeding things. Maybe we want to stack two of those up, I don't know. I'm happy to keep using the Arbalist's debuff buff for now. That's fine. I <laughs> don't mind a dodge at all. That way we can get a couple of bleeds off on Penelope Puddles. You can absolve yourself one more time. Get yourself full HP so we don't ever have to worry about you. Where did this come from? Probably one of these attacks, no doubt. Good. We resisted that one at the very least. You two will not resist this, I hope. So now we've got six damage for three rounds. You're dead. On your next turn, you have much more HP. So. Now we reduce... Um, let's just do this. Guarantees a death, although no one being uh, bleeding is now a, a corpse, which could have been not. Very well, that's no problem. Uh, let's get to this. Stun, no doubt. We're fine. Uh, it's mildly unfortunate that, um, A, this causes light so that we don't get as much loot, but B, we don't have the heal, because we could heal ourselves in that downtime. But this unit could die, as far as I'm concerned. It would just make it very difficult to do all our other things. You are now going to become this. I think this is a good sort of way of doing it. Two rounds of buffing and debuffing and attacking everything, and then we start raking things over the coals. This unit is now almost certainly dead. It's doing six down. Uh, not quite dead. So we'll solo. This doesn't do any damage. I think that's quite expected. It's a... It's a noise attack. Uh, we snipe this one and hope for a crit. Not get a crit. It does have some dodge, so now we're going to do... Actually, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I was going to say we'll uh, put a thing on it, but I think this is as likely to hit as that. So it wasn't worth it. So now we're in an okay position. We might have to pass a turn on Penelope Puddles. Or move Penelope Puddles in order to avoid the stress caused thereby. Um, well, perchance not. That one is now dead. I would like you to have more HP, so if you could have a go. Thank you. I didn't realise it was bleeding, this unit. Uh, it's only three damage for now. Great is the weapon that but. Ooh, what is this? Uh, yes. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Very good. Fan of that. Um, you should eat something. Uh, yes, use that. That's fine. You also have bleed. 
but your bleed is fine. You're nowhere near dead, so don't care about your bleed. No offense. But I'd very much like this unit to be healed more, but I don't want to eat too much food. What do? Where go and why? Um, I'm not really using these. I kind of expected more blight, to be honest, but it didn't didn't show up. Has yet to show up. Let's be uh, let's be more realistic about this. We could, if we're lucky, get this unit healed very Time's early. You can have a bit of food now. For a task well performed. No oh, task well performed. You are the boss. Uh, opening that. There's no trap we're expecting. No, we're expecting. <laughs> Oh, jeez, this is going to be horrible. Transform straight away. Um, rage against this. He is not it back. Very premium. That's fine. It's going to be stress, but we can deal with stress. You are now getting way less stress. We can heal this unit for free. Brilliant. And a bleed. No bleed. Well, we've got something, I suppose. I wonder what happens when they flip out again, because obviously we, we gained. Uh, we, we got some slack on our uh, stress meter when they became whatever the word is. So here we do Battle Ballad. Actually, this is probably a great position to start in. I should have thought of this before. Because you can do that instead of... Mortality clarified uh, that's bad. Spell. That's definitely bad. So do you get another... Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. We've not even got any virtue chance going on here. You can't eat, no. So you might die, but you've only just turned up. Thanks for all you've done. Thank you for being so... Um, virtuous. I only resisted the bleed. Thank you for being so good at avoiding bleeds. This stress is going to... So now we'll see. 100. Maybe it just goes back up. All the way up to 200. Rather than you know, stressing us out a second time. Um, I would like to rage here. Not today, which is not my favourite thing in the world. Nope. Oh. Also not... This is good. I know this fight is going to be terrible. Paranoid. Well, couldn't expect everybody to be virtuous. Uh, I, I looked at this fight and I went, this is just... This is over. <laughs> it's all gonna, this is the worst thing in the world. Right, solo. And don't complain about it. Very good. This is going to be a very difficult fight. We've only actually managed to attack once and we haven't done any... Oh, twice. And we haven't done any damage to it. We have to use this unit to heal. Uh... Very, very good. Marvel. I appreciate that a great deal. Uh, yes, okay, you can do that. Actually, that's a great place for you to be. So you should make your chest as paranoid where possible. Um, I mean, it, it spreads damage across the two of them. It's got very high dodge on both of them. Five to nine, five to nine. Or we can rage against this and hope to get it dead. Eight is the worst you could have done, apart from missing. You are now dead. I'm okay with this because that unit is dead. It's done all the damage it can do. I'm not okay with the damage it has done, but that's in the past. So we have to move on from here. Spotted Fever. Penelope, you are not long for this world. I suspect. <laughs> the way that I've been treating these units, strongly suspect that when I get back, they're gone. We'll see what's in the... In the... Wow. We'll see what's in the um, stagecoach. But I have a suspicion that we're not going to get too much out of set stage, coach. Are you dead? Yes. Brilliant. You said what? Very good. As you wish. We didn't actually get the opportunity to choose our own fate there, but I mean, I'd like to hit that somehow. Let's, um, can we rage against? Yes. It will dodge. Of course it will dodge. What did you expect? The vomit crit. The Black Clog. I mean, these things have taken so much shit from this, we might as well get rid of them and bring them back. Pay us. Courageous. Three of the four people have been virtuous, and I have no idea why. Absolutely no idea how this has happened. I don't, I don't even understand. Well, I understand the concept behind the mechanic, don't get me wrong, but I don't understand, you know, the, the theories here. 
You can't shoot what I needed to shoot at all. Can this stun? No. But it can get you in maybe a position. Where, oh, I guess it, nothing has moved as a result of this bolus. So, whatever. Um, you will... Why not, right? Um, I, I mean, I have no... Deep understanding of why it would be that someone became virtuous rather than... Um, rather than whatever the opposite is. Except... There's, there's not even a thing, you know? There's no virtue stat on this on this page. Uh, I am going to try and get some of your dodge off so that when we actually get the opportunity to attack you, we can succeed in doing so. Does this do damage? Yes. Oh, no, no. Whatever. You're all fucking amazing. Um, Ease this momentum. Push on to the tasks. You can hear something. I'm not using this. Why can't we take that? That could end up being worth more than that. Um, do we want to risk there being? Yes. Get rid of that. Take this and this. Honestly, we have so many of these things that I can probably exchange them with some of them for busts. So, unless we don't want these. 500 gold is actually quite a lot. Alright. Everyone get back in position. I'm going to stop using torches simply because this person has uh, a light giver. It is a light bringer. Scout. No scout. The screams are getting closer. It's going to be a trap. Someone's going to die. Uh... Okay. Oh, we're surprised. Well, that's new. Yes, that's what I was going to do. You're not very good at doing what I don't want you to do when you're paranoid. Let's be honest. Blighted. <laughs> just got rid. I've literally just got rid. Well, not literally. In the past room is when I got rid of that stuff. Um, I will walk you forward slowly. I suppose. You've already um, hit max stress, so now we're just waiting for you to have a heart attack, basically. Penelope Puddles is on the way to a heart attack for the simple reason that Penelope Puddles did not become virtuous. As a result, uh, they didn't lose half their stress. We're okay. We're still alive. Everyone feels better as a result. Nope. I don't really know why that happened, but I'll take it. We resisted that. That's low damage, so we should be okay. Now can we do some damage? Uh, I guess we just take any of them, right? That's helpful. That's actually taken us down one peg, so we're not dead yet. I'd like them to at least survive for me to dismiss them, right? Uh, we do transform, yes. And then we rake. We managed to get everybody in a suitable position, which was uh, pretty good, considering the opportunity to ruin it completely. Stunned? Yeah, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, this unit still has a go, actually. It's funny how we use the word go to mean the word turn. Because it, it's not really a noun, except for the fact that in playing a game, it's like, you go. Like, commence, begin. Whatever. Just musing on some oddities of a language that has every right to have oddities. We'll just battle ballad at the back here for now. Scree. Apparently. Oh, I see. You've calmed yourself down with a... With those shouts of rage. That's perfectly valid. Valid. We have four torches again. Success so clearly. This dark run has gone fine. Or is it I'll be honest. Everyone's stressed hunt. out. No worries. But I think the reason it's gone fine <laughs> is quite simply entirely down to the fact that we've uh, been very lucky to get three out of four people virtuous. I have no idea how. Don't even. I don't need this many portraits. I'm going to take something that's extremely valuable in place of them. And I will keep this key until the last room. Uh, I'll keep going. Strangely enough, I will continue... To this room. <laughs> Excuse me. This room. Don't touch that. What did I just say? You're leaving. You're out, Penelope. Puddles. 
the red plague. Very well. Red, black, green, blue. They're all plagues. Plagues is as plagues does. This is the worst corridor so far. <laughs> it's actually been horrible for us. Very well. There may be a fight, which may have loot, which means we can... There isn't. Okay. Well, this went extremely well. Nobody died, which is both amazing and horrendous. I don't really care. You're actually now level 3. You're level 4. When you get to level 4, I'm wondering whether it's a good idea to get rid of you. Eh. Everyone's got horrible diseases, though. Let's see how much money we've got. Let's see who, who vanished. Sisters and St. Martha will leave the service, the Holy Ghost, with the chorus of We Are the Flame, after which they will be accepting confessions in the lower hall. Which I presume means that they're not available. It does not say that. What does that mean? Something else in here? You. I... Confessions. There is no confession in there. And I don't I suppose these are still not free. Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course I'd use the one that, um, what is, now there's two of the sons of the bitches. Yeah, they still cost money. Let me go. Good. We have 17,000, which is not nearly as much as I was expecting from a dark run, uh, no doubt. Let's put Doug in for some quiet time. I think Doug deserves some quiet time. That's okay. That's not okay, actually. Do you get any bonus from anything? Not really. Do you get any less bonus from something? No. You can go in there. Be quiet. Um, fine. I think I'm going to look through this between this episode and the next, rather than boring you all with the sort of end, end game here. And I will report back as to which people I have dismissed. Viz has basically saved himself by being level 4. But I'm honestly not sure we want to keep... Um, an abomination around at all. Especially not one with this many problems. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah. These aren't really good either. But we can have a party of four to play at that level. Um, quite easily. Well, I'll dismiss this unit. Go away. I'll finally Those dismiss this unit. Stomach for this place must move on. We have now space for two more units. Uh, but I think I'll save that till the next episode, or at least in between episodes. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I appreciate all the comments you give me in the, the comments below this video, on Twitter and through other means. So anything you have to say, do say so. In at least a polite manner that I can understand, or I will ignore you or abuse you back. Until then, which is next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you.